What do you think, Blueberry? Are you ready to try some tobacco? Let's give it a go, huh? So, part of kind of our whole goal with homesteading is to live a connected life to the world around us. And by the world around us, I mean plants, animals, things like that, to be able to take more control of our life and what goes into it. Um, you know, not only including things like not having television or watching, uh, you know, what we expose ourselves to, whether it's, um, you know, online or what books we read, other things, but also, you know, controlling what goes in our physical body as well. So I'm in here right now, let the ducks out for the morning, our Muscovy ducks, and uh, trying to get away from different chemical things as far as if we're going to. Hey guys, good morning. How you doing? You guys wanna come out? I'm gonna show them the tobacco hanging in there. But, you know, a lot of people, for different things, will uh, oh, use a lot of chemicals when they're dealing with things like trying to worm their animals, keep their animals healthy. And especially if you get into the like mass-produced type stage of things. But here, we're growing our own tobacco and spent some time talking to Chris from Shalom Acres. And uh, he's got quite a few sheep. They take care of a lot of things themselves. He actually uses, um... Hey, guineas! Uh, pear cider vinegar that he makes. And, uh, you know, some people use apple cider vinegar mixed in with the water as a natural warmer, too. But I'll tell you what, his pear cider vinegar, I love it. I would drink that stuff all day. It, uh, reminds me of kombucha. But another thing that he does is he uses tobacco, and a lot of people have used tobacco or snuff for, for years as a natural warmer. So after talking to Shlow Makers for a bit, got some tobacco seeds from them. Grew our own last year. Incredible plant. Oh, does really good. And then also you have, you know, both the tomato hornworm and the tobacco hornworm, so there was definitely some horn hornworms in the area. But we can grow our own tobacco. It's natural, it's chemical free, um, you know, organic, just regular tobacco. And it can actually be used as a warmer for sheep and goats and things like that. So today I'm going to mix them into some feed and isolate a couple of our little goats, um, King and Blueberry, let them eat some up and just kind of see if it helps them pass anything because uh, if you get enough in their system, um, it doesn't harm them at all, but it takes out the parasites and uh, helps them to pass both the dead and dying parasites out of their body. So I think I'm gonna isolate them in the guinea pen just so that way they're not out in any of the pastures where our, uh, where our sheep and goats and stuff are gonna be. And then I'll see, uh, it'll give me a isolated area to examine exactly what they, what they dispel. So I might even uh, move the guineas out of there just have them in the guinea pen, do the test, and see. Because supposedly like an hour after eating it, um, they'll actually start passing stuff. So, doing some more research and I'll definitely uh, add some more information in this video. But that's where I'm at right now, that's the experiment I'm working on. So the guineas don't always come out and stretch their legs. Um, when you first move into a new area, you should really uh, <clears throat> let them sit in the same place for about a month first so they understand where their home is. And then start letting them come out from there. And uh, we've definitely had over a month. It's just with a lot of things we got going down on here. We haven't let them out too much yet. So they're out. Oh yeah, a duck on top of the building. Oh, there it flies down. They're flying around again. So it's been rainy lately, and when it's rainy too, a lot of times it seems the uh, the worms come out of the soil more. If your animals are grazing low to the ground, 
they got a better chance of picking up parasites. And if you pull out their eyelids and look inside, there should be a nice healthy pink. Um, our one doe here is a, a little lighter than she should be. It looks like she's got a little bit of diarrhea too, looking at the back of her tail. So you can see the discoloration back there. So we're gonna take her and King, put him in that empty guinea pen, give him a little tobacco and see, uh, see if we can't help him out a bit. Come on guys. So I did put in more tobacco than I need to, just because I know they're going to try to eat around it. And I'll save some for some of the other animals. But as they're eating the grain, um, the sheep and goat feed, they'll be getting some of the tobacco in. I tried to dice it up pretty small, and you can definitely see some of them heading on up when she eats. So, optimistic, and uh, just enjoy trying to find simple, natural remedies for various ailments because a lot of it exists, you know, out in the wild or easy enough to grow in your garden. Yeah, buddy. Rather than turning to chemicals and stuff like that right away. So we'll check on them in a bit and see how they're doing. Well guys, this one's a little gross, but blueberry there. Hey blueberry. Let some uh, stool go after eating the tobacco stuff, and there seems to be these little white worms in it. Supposedly the tobacco harms the worms, but keeps the goat safe. And that's exactly what this looks like, so... Um, none of these seem to be moving, but they're definitely here. So I'm glad we uh, wormed her when we did. So we'll continue to treat her with a couple different things. and keep an eye on her. Hopefully she'll stay good. But that's pretty gross. So that's part of the reason we had them here in the guinea pen too. Just so they wouldn't um, wouldn't get anyone else yucky. If they poop them out where they're going to be living and then they, if they're not dead they can get back inside them. So wow well, Blueberry I hope you start feeling better. I'll check her eyes probably tomorrow and see if her stool doesn't improve. But, like I said, that's part of why we grow tobacco here. In fact, that's the main reason we grow tobacco here. So, hey King. Yeah, buddy. Think those are worms? Yeah. yeah I think so too. They look like worms. They look gross. All right, guys, so that's kind of part of what we got going on around here. Um, and you got a lot of rain, especially late winter in the spring. A lot of stuff comes out of the soil. They're mowing down things pretty hard, so uh, when they eat close to the ground, they can get the worms in them. There's a number of natural remedies, including tobacco. So, I don't know, I was told, you know, if you feed them the right amount of tobacco, they should pass some stool in about an hour and there should be dead or dying worms in it. And that looks exactly what's going on here. So we'll continue to do more research, continue to take care of these guys. And uh, it's not uncommon for them to get parasites. It's just a matter of treating them before they really harm them. So that's where we're at now. All right, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.